Hello everyone. Now in this video we are discussing about that the shares can be purchased at the face value, at the premium and at the discount. But when we talk about the dividends, so the dividend is always on the face value. Whatever the premium and discount is there, there is no part in the dividend on that basis. Or we can say, suppose we purchase a share of rupees 100 at 5 premium. It means the total investment we have to do in the company is 105 rupees. But the dividend we will get on rupees 100 only. If I am saying that I am investing is in rupees 100 shares at 10 discount. It also means that I am investing rupees 90 in the company, but the company is paying the dividend on rupees 100. Now, when there is a dividend, then the dividend can be calculated from the company point of view, that is on rupees 100, and from the point of view of the person who is the shareholder. Now, a very important concept is, in case of shares, the company will not take back the shares. If I am the partner of the company for 1% and I say that you purchase my shares back, then the company will not purchase. I can sell my shares in the market. I can sell my partnership in the market. Now, if I want to sell my partnership in the market that depends whether I will sell my share at the higher price or I will sell my share on the lower price that depends on the dividend which the company is paying. If I am saying the bank rate of interest is approximately 8%, definitely if the company is paying the dividend more than 8%, then the price of the share will increase. While if the company will pay the dividend less than 8%, then the price of the share will decrease. So the market price is the another term for the share and that is for the shareholder. So when the shareholder calculates the dividend, the amount he gets from the company is the same. But the percentage he calculates on the market price, but not on the company price. Suppose I am saying that a particular company is having a rupees 100 share and paying a dividend of 15%. This actually means that the company is paying rupees 15 per year to the shareholder for one share. Now, because the value is, the dividend is more than the bank rate of interest, definitely the market price of the share will increase. Now, suppose I am saying the market price of the share is 120 rupees. Now, the shareholder will not calculate the uh, dividend which is rupees 15 on 100, but he will calculate this dividend on rupees 120. For the shareholder, he is getting 15 rupees profit on the value of 120. Definitely he has invested something else. What, were, what was the company value? But today's value is 120 rupees. So he is getting 15 rupees as the dividend on rupees 120. If we calculate the percentage for this, it is 15 upon 120 multiplied by 100. So here the percentage he is getting is different from the percentage which the company is paying. As far as the amount is concerned, so company is paying rupees 15 and the person is getting rupees 15. But the company is calculating 15 rupees on the par value or on the face value while the shareholder is calculating this 15 rupees on the market value or the market price. So there are two terms which are very very important. One is the face value of the share and the second is the market value of the share. 
and this generally depends on the dividend which the company is paying. In the next video, we will talk about that how to solve the question based on shares and there is very important thing that what is the language we are using in this topic that is very very important but mostly this topic is somewhere a kind of profit and loss. Thank you.